My name is Jemima Jackson and I'm a graduate electrical engineer at M-Control. I supervise and organise the electricians and the work that they do. So say we're building one of these that's behind me, um, I help design it so I will draw it up on the computer and everything like that. Um, and then I'll be involved with all the ordering of all the parts and that'll be ordered. Um, I'll help them compile a list of all of the tasks that the electricians and everyone on the floor has to do and then we'll give all of that to the staff and then um, we'll supervise their work and then at the end we'll supervise the testing to make sure it all works and so basically every step of the way I'm doing all the paperwork and all the organising behind the end result. Uh, well, I do like the organisation part. I like being very organised, so it really suits me that that's a main component of my job. Um, I actually also really enjoy the design aspect. I think it's really cool that I can draw something one day and in a few weeks' time it's a real big box that actually works and you get to see it working and you get to talk to the customers and you really get to interact with them and then provide them with something that they really want. So you kind of you're a customer service person but you're a designer but you're an organiser so it's just lots of different things um, and every day is different so I never really get bored. <laughs> it's really good. Really well at maths and science in, at a year 10 level um, and then so when it came to picking my subjects for year 11 and 12 I picked four unit maths, physics, chemistry, um, and computing studies, which is IPT, I think. Um, and I did really well at all of those at school. Oh, well, if I didn't go really well at them, I enjoyed them a lot. Um, and I just scraped into electrical engineering at Newcastle University. And um, along with, I did some work experience as well during that time. So I knew that it kind of seemed like something that I'd really want to do. Um, I could see how the maths and everything I was doing at school almost related to what I was doing at work. And yeah, so then I worked again all the way through my degree with on a UNIS scholarship. And I had a year off before I did my last year and I worked in Sydney and worked with Osgrid on the utilities. Um, and then I finished last year and I've just started at Amp Control this year. I think these days, you learn a lot of it once you finish university and that's one of those things where a lot of people leave university and kind of go, oh, there's all these things they didn't teach me, like writing emails, interacting with people that aren't your own age. That's a really big one. Like anyone who can interact with someone who's not their own age is such a treasure in this industry because you have to learn it quickly. But if you've already got it, then you're just that little bit of a step ahead. I, I feel like um, at, what, 22, having five years in the industry has just been incredible. It's crazy, but yeah. Here on this graduate program for at least another two years and so in that time I'll get to see all the different divisions of amp control um, and then I suppose after that I get to start looking at taking on more supervisory roles so I can start looking at becoming an engineering manager where you manage other engineers or I can look at going into business or commercial which means that I could do an MBA um, there's still a lot of scope for me to go back to university and do a PhD um, I, that's what, one of those really good things about what I've chosen is that even though now I've finished the path, there are still heaps more paths to take from here. So I really like how it all forks off and there's lots of different opportunities for me.